So before you think I'm walking out of this place with a full belly, this actually is the foundation for a story I have got to share with you. So two weeks ago, my brother-in-law comes to me with a stock trade, and we both go bullish on the stock but we had two different outcomes. Fast forward to Friday, August 21st, and how can he be down 10% on his trade all the while I cash out for a small profit? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly what we both did, but I need to get him on the phone and do a post interview in a segment that I like to call Trade This, Not That. Hi, Auction X Power Profit Trade members. Welcome to Tom's Trading Room, where we offer analysis, insight, and step-by-step -step comparisons of alternative strategies other than just buying stocks. Do me a favor right now, hit that like button below. It helps support this channel. Also, if you click the subscribe button and ding the bell next to it, we'll notify you as soon as a new video is uploaded. Okay, let me set the stage first. Now, last Monday, my brother-in-law came to me with this harebrained idea to buy Red Robin, RRGB is the symbol, and it's trading around $10 a share. He said it was trading around $70 earlier in the year and that 10 looked like a good price. Now, I typically never trade on what I think is gonna happen, but I caught a glimpse of his account, and I gotta tell you, it was up over 250% for the year. Upon further investigation, Dondi, that's what we call him. He only owns stocks that matches his lifestyle. Eat, sleep, and play. Now, to go any further, I really need to get him on the phone right now. So let's call him and let's talk about what happened then. Fast forward to now and how we both did. Red Robin. Yo. Dondi. Yeah, Tom. So, so do you have a few minutes? Yeah. All right, let's talk about Red Robin. <laughs> okay, it, it tanked. Right, so, <laughs> so, so uh, anyway, um, I'm letting everybody know last Monday, you know, you came to me with this idea to go ahead and buy Red Robin. And you and I were sitting at the, uh, you know, you and I were sitting at the uh, the table. Um, yeah. And so th the price was around $10 a share. Um, yep. Didn't you, now your your whole premise on what you've been investing in is then, you you won't buy it unless it's eighty percent off, right? Yeah, and that pretty much what your strategy is. If it's eighty yeah. percent off, you start to look at it. Anyway, uh, and and I told you if you remember that I typically don't trade on what people think or whatever. But then I got a glimpse at your account for the year, and at the yeah. time it was up over two hundred fifty percent. Yeah. So I thought, all right, well maybe I'll take a chance on this because I think I talked about um, your eat, sleep, and play attitude. <laughs> when yeah. it comes to investing in stocks. So here, let me make sure I got this right. Uh, Burger King was the eat. Uh, no, and... eat is Chili's. Oh, you own Chili's too? Yeah, that's, I'm up like 200% on that one. What What's the stock symbol on Chili's? Eat, E-A-T. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's it's, you really you did eat, okay. So yeah. um, And then Dave and & Buster's. And then play at Dave and Buster's and sleep at Camping World. Although you got out of Camping World, didn't you? I, I yeah, I made a mistake. I got out of that one. I should have stayed. You you and me did the put took bullish positions on this trade at the same time. You yeah. bought the stock, and uh, you so you bought the stock just underneath ten, and yeah. you knew the worst it could do was go bankrupt. Yeah. What was your your expectation of this thing? Uh, eventually go back to about twenty bucks. Okay, so you were looking for a double. So you yeah. were looking for a double on the stock, uh, and you were basically looking at a one-to-one. -one. Hey, I'll risk $10 but to make $10. Yeah. Yeah. I sold the August 21st $10 puts. Now, what that basically means is that I am being obligated to buy that stock uh, if it's below 10 um, on or before August 21st. So basically what it did was it dropped my buy-in price from 10 to $8.75. You know, I always ask myself these things when I put these trades on, why did I take this trade? And usually my trading, the reason I take it is because uh, there was some sort of rules-based method that made me decide to get into it. Yeah. Um, my rules-based method this time was, all right, I'm going to listen to Dondi. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a good one, maybe. And he, yeah. and he had a good track record for the year. 
So I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll go in and with you on this. But I did it my way because my way, this was just my opinion, my way had a better outcome. His way, my way. If you look at how much they were selling these puts for, a buck and a quarter, that represented a 12.5% move in the stock in two weeks. And yeah. the reason why is because they were – because you remember last, uh, last week when you and I were talking about this, it, they were announcing earnings a couple yep. of days later. And so yep. earnings were announced, the stock dropped below nine, and then started climbing right back up. But by Friday, just a couple of days ago, it had sold off again. Well, I actually got out of my position. I sold those puts for $1.25, and I ended up buying them back for less than a dollar. Red Robin. Yum. To make a long story short, I ended up making about 35 cents on that position, which is sounds weird because the stock dropped. You're probably thinking, how did I lose a buck and, and how did Tom make 35 cents? What had happened was basically this. There was so much pent up confusion as to what these guys were going to report for for a um, an earnings report that it basically – uh, swelled up the price of those puts. They just looked more expensive than the stock was going to move up or down. That's why I sold them. Um, my plan was that if we were going to hang out around 10, I was going to make an adjustment to the trade. But because it kept dropping and going farther south by Friday afternoon, and I think it was probably about 3.30, I think I made, made the decision to exit this trade. Red Robin. Yum. When you compare the two trades, they were both bullish. It's just I just felt like because of the options that I had a better break even, I had a better risk than you did because I was going to get a lose eight seventy five if they went bankrupt in those two weeks, yeah. um, and I had a I, and, and if the stock went sideways, I was going to make money, and it actually went down and I still made money. So you know the the, the question that I always ask myself and I ask you is what have we both learned about this trade? <laughs> what did we learn about Red Robin? Yeah, I learned not to buy a stock. When they're announcing earnings the next day, <laughs> and it's, and it's, you know you you actually were up ten percent the day before earnings. I know that I was. You, that could be a that could be a strategy you could look at in the future. Is you know maybe if I'm going to buy something ahead of earnings, might you know look at the patterns and maybe it's best to exit the position right before the earnings come out because that was a classic of what happened with Red Robin. It bounced, yeah. but then right after the earnings, it just got it just got it had a twenty percent move the day yeah. uh, the day after the earnings announcement. All right, well that was fun. All right, all right, thanks, Dondi. No problem. Goodbye. All right. all right, Dondi, thanks for the call, guys. Let's summarize this right now. So, looking at Red Robin stock, Dondi purchased this for ten dollars a share. That means his cost, his risk, his break even, all ten dollars a share. I, on the other hand, did something a little bit different. I chose to take the options because the options look so expensive to me in terms of a two-week option that was actually out of the money when I placed it. I was still able to get $1.25 for that. So I sold these options, these August 21st 10 puts. They only had 11 days to expiration. And I was able to get a buck twenty-five, or actually what that comes out to be is $125 per contract. There are basically two ways this plays out. Either the stock's above the strike price at expiration or it's below. If it's above it, this is going to go to zero. I'm going to keep it all. If it's below it, I can be put the stock at 10. The good news is, is my break even is $10 for the stock minus $1.25 per share. So my break even is $8.75. I knew that, but as a trader, my whole idea was to get into this position and get out of it before my 11 days were up. Hey, thanks for joining us again. If you like what you've seen, please hit that like button below. It helps support the channel. Also, click on the subscribe button and ding that bell next to it. We'll notify you next time we upload a video. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you soon. Bye now.